Tony Hawk recently made news for renaming the Mute Grab. I want to get into that in a little bit more detail and also talk about a few other tricks that could probably use a rename too. Welcome back to Rad Rat Video, a channel where you can learn new things about skateboarding. We talk about skateboarding history, we talk about skateboarding video games, and every now and then they intersect, like today. So in the new Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 remake, uh, they renamed the Mute Grab into the Weddle Grab. And Tony Hawk had a post about it, I want to break that down and add some more detail to it, so let's get started. For nearly 40 years, we've shamelessly referred to this trick as the Mute Error Grab. Here is the backstory. Around 1981, a deaf skater and Colton Skate Park local named Chris Weddle was a prominent amateur on the competition circuit. The indie air had just been created in name, so somebody proposed that grabbing with the front hand should be known as the tracker air. Others countered that Chris was the first to do, so it should be named after him. So who is Chris Weddle? He's a skater who started skating in the mid-70s with guys like Tony Hawk, Lester Kasai, Lance Mountain, Grasso, Losi, a bunch of those big names at the time. And he's known for inventing the grab, where you grab the toe side of the board with your front hand, the trick that we're talking about today. And the problem came around when people decided that they should start calling the trick after him. I found an interview with Chris from the Deaf Skateboards website uh, from around 2002, and this is what it says. Who named you a mute? What year? Where? Why? I was told that Alan Losey's father, Gil Losey, named my mute air trick that I pulled out at Pro-Am event at Ranch Frontside in 1981 because I am always quiet and I talk funny, which I am hard of hearing. Wow. Uh, imagine if you invented a skateboard trick and it ends up being pretty widely used and kind of a big deal. And that's how people want to remember you for it. Um, I don't know the intention behind it. You know, it could have been trying to be funny or it, it doesn't seem like that. It seems kind of mean spirited, like your rude uncle who always talked about how your teeth were coming in weird when you were a kid, you know, like that type of thing where it's kind of rude. Um, again, I, I don't know any of these people, so I can't say for sure, but let's get back into Tony Hawk's quote. In recent years, a few people have reached out to Chris, who still skates, about this trick and the name it was given. He has been very gracious in his response, but it is obvious that a different name would have honored his legacy, as he is deaf but not lacking speech. I asked him last year as I was diving into trick origins, and he said he would have rather named it the deaf or Weddle Grab if given the choice. His exact quote to me was, I am deaf, not mute. So not only is it disrespectful, but it's also not accurate. Really weird. I had no idea that this was the origin of the trick name. I always assumed it was something like, it's the trick is so cool that the crowd goes silent, you know, like something along those lines and not necessarily something like this. But let's finish off that quote. Thanks to Derek Delau for being a great advocate to the deaf community in action sports and for being the catalyst in this renaming process. I told Chris recently and his reply was, I'm so stoked Then he shot this photo in celebration yesterday. So as for me, I'm going to use the new name. I don't see any good reason to use the old one now. Uh, we've got a name that actually shows respect to the person who created it. And uh, yeah, there's no good reason not to. The only thing I could think some people might argue is the history. There's more history with the older name but that's not a good enough reason to be disrespectful to somebody. So with that in mind, I think there's two other tricks that we could probably ditch the names for, and you can probably guess what they are already. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to censor out both of them because I've said them on YouTube before and gotten in trouble for it. First one is the next change. So this was in Tony Hawk 1 and 2. I checked in the demo for the remake and it's not in there at all, not just by this name, but it's not in there at all. But what the trick is, is the board is a kickflip, your body spins backside. So the name is basically a pun for switching stances. I think that's it. But uh, considering how big of an issue this is for some people and the amount of uh, anxiety and, and stress that it can put people under who are in a position where they don't feel right in their bodies and stuff like that, I just don't think it's a very good topic to be making a joke about at this point you know now we all know a little bit better so i think that name can be safely retired i don't think we need a specific name for that anyway you can just describe it but uh yeah so that's the first one second one of course is the twist you can watch a video where i talk about the creation of that trick uh right there but what it is it's a cab which is a faking no-handed 360 in a ramp, and this is with a grab. So um, doing it with the grab was considered easier, 
it was the worst version. It was the beginner version. It was the lesser version. And so they called it gay. And so um, you can see why that might be an issue referring to how people identify as being the worst version of something. Not super healthy for people. Uh, you're not helping anybody by doing that. There's a video I will put a dis I'll put a link in the description. It's on the Ride channel, and they always do copyright strikes if you show any of their clips. So I, I can't do it. But it's a video where Steve Caballero is talking about the trick, and he says in snowboarding they had to rename it because they weren't allowed to say it on TV. Um, which I think is fine. He has a big problem with that, and he actually still uses that word as an insult, and he does so in the video. Um, I don't think that's a great way to be. And again, I could see the argument of there's a lot of history. This has been the name of the trick for so long. You know, like it's part of skateboarding culture and heritage and all that. But I think it's safe to drop some of the worst parts about skateboard history. I had someone write in recently for a, a question and it was about all of the hate crimes and things in skateboarding's history and I didn't do a video on it specifically but um, I think it's an, it's a good topic to be aware of there are lots of stories of pro skateboarders like Jay Adams Danny Way is is one these guys were both involved in uh, instances of somebody dying in a hate crime you know what their exact involvement was i haven't seen all the legal proceedings and, and all that type of stuff but that is something out there you can you can google and you can you can find out about that if if you want to see that uh, there's lots of stories you know in my chad muska video where he and tom penny are throwing rocks at gay guys just to assault them you know there's lots of this type of stuff in skateboarding history and we don't really need to you know celebrate that by still using terms that are disrespectful to other people so yeah i'm really glad that tony hawk decided to rename that grab and i just think that we should maybe keep this going uh, i know those names aren't super common right now there are some other versions uh if you spin the opposite way for that fakie 360 grab um, they called it this in the past i don't think anyone really uses that now but but still, like, if there's stuff in the in the history that we should we're better off forgetting about, I think that now is a good time to do it. So, yeah, um, I want to applaud Tony Hawk for doing that and encourage people to use the new name for the grab uh, whenever possible. So that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Make sure you subscribe so that you can learn new things about skateboarding and see me review new skateboarding games and play terrible old ones and all kinds of stuff like that. See you later.